couple of weeks back I had reviewed MacBook Air M1 and as I had said with just two USB-C ports you would need to have a USB hub or a docking station in order to connect external display or external devices like mouse, keyboards and SD card readers and so on. So that was one limitation which I had pointed out in my review. So I tried with Apple's multi adapter which cost me about 6k and uh, it was not that helpful because I had some issues with the HDMI. Also with just three ports it wasn't value for money and then finally I got Anker's 7 into USB hub. So this one has got seven ports and it has got two outlets which connects to USB-C on my MacBook. We have got an HDMI port. The HDMI port can render 4K resolution at frame rate of 30 Hertz. And then we have got two USB-C ports. First one is a multifunction port, mainly meant for charging as is depicted with the symbol. It can charge up to 100 watts and also be used for data transfer up to 40 Gbps. You can also connect external display which will be rendered at 5K resolution and a frame rate of 60 Hertz. The other USB port is used for data transfers only. So you can see they have got these two USB-C ports and we also have USB-A ports. There are two USB type A ports. Finally, there is an SD card reader and a micro SD card reader slot as well. The build quality is good, it's solid and it's sleek as well. It comes in a pouch so you can store it safely. Let's connect it to my laptop and see how it looks like. The MacBook has got two USB-C ports. I'm going to just tuck it in like this. Now you got to be very careful when you are inserting it or removing it because this is kind of a rigid design and you don't want to mess up your ports. This pretty much looks a part of my MacBook and with the same color combination. Also, it is very closely connected. As you can see, this device is an all-in-one solution. It's got good build quality and it's kind of portable as well. Now let us look at some of the downsides as well. So it would work for my MacBook Air M1 because it's got these two USB Type-C ports close to each other, everything well and good. But what if I want to use this with another laptop, maybe uh, of a different model? I guess this would not work and this would be a big, big problem. So you may want to check out for models which are flexible when it comes to their design because you don't want to end up spending money for you know just to get the same thing for another laptop another thing which i found is that if i connect multiple devices to the usb hub like i've done here i've connected ssd drive i've got mouse connected power cable already plugged in and the hdmi cable is also plugged in here so if i use it for let's say a couple of hours or more it tends to heat up moderately Although there is no significant heating on the laptop and uh, just a little bit heating near the ports but no significant heating anywhere else so the performance also doesn't degrade. I think it's because I have been putting a lot of load onto the system, running an editing software, a programming software all together and also the SSD drive is connected. So there's a lot of data transfer going on and off. Yeah, I mean, if I'm putting load onto the hub uh, with all the ports engaged, there will definitely going to be some heating and uh, nothing to worry because I have been using it for long runs and it does not damage my laptop or the hub. Uh, so far, so good. So these were the few things to keep in mind. Like I do always in my reviews, I tend to give out tips which could be helpful for any of my viewers. If they are buying any of these devices, they should know things upfront before buying it. And I have been using it for a couple of weeks and I can say that it has been good so far. I did not face any major issues, all the ports working fine. And with just four to 5K, uh, I think the price is somewhere around four to 5K in between, it is value for money. Definitely makes things easier for me to work, so, why not? 
All right, thanks for watching.